my mouth and my stomach were not on the same team. My stomach gets full, my mouth keeps wanting to eat. Oh my god. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang. Today you're watching another episode of Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. Mukbang is an eating show, so we're gonna eat together and we're gonna chat. And today guys, I have yet another feast in front of me. Today we are continuing my Support Local series, which is basically where I support local businesses here in my city, which is Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today I got the food from a place called V Burger. V Burger. V Burger, uh-huh. It's a completely plant-based, fast food place, I guess you could say. Yes, completely plant-based fast food. So they've got, of course, burgers, they've got fries, they've got ice creams of all kinds. It's all very exciting, and I got two burgers. They got a little bit squished, but I'm sure it's delicious. Here is the buffalo chicken burger, right here. And then this is the original V cheeseburger, I believe it's called. Oh my, so exciting. And of course, I had to get some fries. You just have to have fries with the burger, okay? It's a rule! And I also actually got their like cookies and cream, not blizzard, but kind of like the vegan version of a blizzard. And I basically like finished most of it on the way home. So yeah, that's sitting in my freezer. So maybe we'll finish that afterwards. And I also got one of their ice cream sandwiches, which is also sitting in my freezer. Whew, so that's that. But I also, guys, by the way, I'm doing like a treat day today, which I'm filming in a separate video, which will probably be out before this video. So I'll link that video. Actually, it might be out after, but anyways, if it's out, I will link it down below. So this is part of my treat day, okay? Which is why I'm also having some black bean noodles, oh, MG. This is Chacharoni, which is a uh, brand of Korean instant black bean noodles. And um, the one that I found in the Korean supermarket was vegan. So here you go. Ooh. Oh. So what I thought I would do, guys, is I thought I would have a truffle black bean noodle experience. I tried to have this experience the last time I think I did a cheat day. And um, I failed because my truffle oil was not very truffly. This time I'm gonna use this truffle oil, which is, oh my God, I don't know if you guys can see. I think I got this on iHerb, I'll link it down below, but this actually tastes like truffle. Oh, it's so good. So I'm gonna add some into the black bean noodles because I heard that that is a delicious concoction. So we're having truffle black bean noodles. We're gonna add about like half a tablespoon. Ooh. And we're also gonna have burgers and I'm so excited. Okay. Woo! Guys, are we excited? I'm gonna have to have a bite of the black bean noodles first because I don't want them to get soggy, you know? All right, let's dig in. Ooh, I can smell the truffle. I can probably add some of the truffle into the fries as well. Who doesn't love truffle fries? Oh, guys, guys, if you guys have not tried black bean noodles, I mean, look how, oh, I haven't had these in so long. <laughs> oh, today is a treat day. Mmm. Pickled radish. Mmm. 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 So good. Mmm. No, guys. The truffle is delicious. Now, do the black bean noodles need the truffle oil? Absolutely not. They're delicious without, but they're also delicious with. Mmm. Mm. Oh man. Mmm. Okay. We're gonna have to try some of this buffalo burger. Buffalo chicken. You really can't go wrong with buffalo. Mm. Okay, now, okay, let me have a little fry. Mm. They did give me some, what I believe is ketchup. Mm-hmm, ketchup. Mm. 
Now we're gonna bite into the cheeseburger. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Today is a heavenly day. Praise Jesus. So today, I'm spending all day, I literally just came from a run, by the way, because I wanted to stimulate my appetite more so I could eat as much as I want today. So I had breakfast today, probably at like 9 o'clock, and of course I had a huge breakfast because for me the thing is I like to have variety in the meal instead of having like one meal of like noodles and then afterwards having burgers and afterwards having pizza, I would rather just have it kind of buffet style or have a little bit of everything. Mm. Mm. So I had a huge breakfast for my treat day. Today is like unlimited calories today, okay? I do not do this often at all. This is like my second day that I'm ever doing this. The last time I did this, it was like two years ago. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, and let's face it, I'm mainly doing it for the YouTube video. And of course, I'm enjoying it as well, but like, I wouldn't do this if I didn't have a YouTube channel, if that makes sense. Mm. Mm. Guys, when you're eating greasy food like this, you gotta have the carbonated beverage. Now, I ran out of ice. I didn't make any ice. <laughs> But it's okay. Ah, uh, what is it about carbonated beverages? But I don't want to drink too much bubbly because I get too full quickly. Anyway, so I had a big breakfast. Whew, and then I was like super excited to eat this. So I was like, whew. anyways, now I can breathe. Um, big breakfast. And then I had a bubbly and I think that like threw me off the edge off the edge over the edge almost anyway so then I got like super full I lay down for a bit went for a long walk had a coffee which was another thing it's the liquids that really filled me up but like you also need the liquids you know what I mean so <laughs> I had a coffee and I felt really full and then now it's like it's literally it's like 4 40 so I like wasn't hungry basically most of the day because I had such a big breakfast and and then I went for a run after my walk. So I went for a walk, came home, then went for a run, and then on my way home, I grabbed these bad boys. And then on my way home, of course, I finished the blizzard. I almost finished that ice cream. So I've been eating a lot today. <laughs> mm. 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 So yeah, I'm feeling satisfied. Mm. But I don't know what it is about me that likes to have a variety in one meal instead of having one thing at a time, you know? Like, if I have burgers and fries, I have to eat it like, you know, ah! Uh-oh. Ah! Anyway, if I have burgers and fries, I can't, like, it's like my pet peeve. <laughs> okay, it's not that dramatic. 
but I don't understand when people like finish all the burger and then eat the fries after because I'm like don't you want like that variety in between bites I don't know who's with me on this let me know if you guys are the type to like finish the burger and then have the fries or if you're the type to like eat everything you know together but like take turns with the bites mm. Mm -mm. Mm. <sighs> it's kind of like when you go like perfume smelling is that the right analogy like when you go smelling perfumes and then they make you sniff coffee beans in between is it is it perfumes you know when you like, you know, smell test things and then in between you have to smell coffee beans so that it like, you know, gets your uh, smell... Uh, oh my god, why can't I talk? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So like, I feel like it really enhances each flavor when you take turns eating different types of foods. I think it's also the Korean in me. I have a theory. But because I'm Korean, and Korean people, we're used to eating like... A ton of side dishes, okay? So we're used to eating like one bowl of rice and then like a ton of side dishes. So we like naturally get a bunch of different, you know, varieties. Why can't I speak? <laughs> I have junk food brain right now. Korean meals by nature, because we have so many side dishes for like each meal, usually there's like multiple side dishes that you eat your rice with or whatever with. So I'm just like used to eating different flavors in one meal. So if you give me like one bowl of just like noodles, I might get sick of it pretty fast. Mm hmm Even this, even if I were to just have the black bean noodles, I have to have the radishes, you know? Even when Korean people eat um, spicy noodles, we have to have kimchi. It's that contrast in flavor that makes it so great. Mm -mm. Mm. <sighs> Even drinking this in between. Oh, the only problem is that I get full when I drink that. Now I had to finish the noodles guys because if I don't finish it now, it's gonna get really soggy. Mm. It amazes me how much vegan food scene has changed just in the last like decade. <laughs> I mean, not even just the last decade, but like the last five years, the number of vegan places or like veg friendly places that have opened up just in the last like five years. Even in my city where, you know, we're known to be like conservative and very like pro beef, pro meat, all that stuff. And don't get me wrong, like it is like that, but the amount of like veggie places that have popped up over the last five years, I mean, I'll be happy, okay? I'll be happy. I know I talk about this all the time, but. Mm. Oh my God, guys. Mm -hmm. My problem is today I have so many things I want to eat So I don't want to get full But of course it's gonna happen <laughs> No My mouth and my stomach, we're not on the same team. My stomach gets full, my mouth keeps wanting to eat. Mm. Oh, you guys, today is like, I am so 
satisfied today and it's also such a beautiful day outside so i went for like a long walk and then a long run birds are chirping i'm eating whatever i want i bought myself flowers it was a fantastic day i mean the day's not over <laughs> so i definitely want to eat i'm probably gonna eat a very late dinner i can imagine because it's already like almost five and i'm definitely gonna be full for a while after this mm -mm. Mm. So you know what? Before I get too full, I'm gonna get the ice creams. Woo -woo. All right guys, so I grabbed the ice creams. So I have this ice cream cookie that I'm pretty excited about. Ooh, I don't know what kind of cookie it is. And I imagine this is just like a vanilla ice cream. And then of course I have my leftover like cookies and cream ice cream, which was so good. And it's literally like, I pretty much finished it. This is why I can't eat as much food right now because I pretty much finished this. This was like full. It's a pretty big cup. Anyways, okay guys, so I'm filming. I'm filming two things at once. It's a bit, it's a bit stressful. Okay, I'm gonna try this cookie. How do I eat this? I haven't had an ice cream cookie in so long. Sensitive teeth. Not for people with sensitive teeth. <laughs> oh, chocolate chips. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's good. But I do have to be careful of my sensitive teeth. What do you call it when your teeth like freeze? Mmm. Ooh. Wow. I forgot I had sensitive teeth until just now. Does it even qualify as sensitive teeth when you eat something really cold and your teeth get like kind of frozen? I don't know. Ooh, -hoo. let's bite into this vegan blizzard thing. Mm. Oh my God, this feels less sweet after eating the um, ice cream, ice cream cookie. Mm. Mm -mm. Know what I want to do? I feel like I used to do this with like Wendy's frosting, fry and ice cream. Strange combination. Guys, pretty soon us vegans, we're gonna have to worry about heart disease too. You know, look at all this junky food. I know I shouldn't be drinking so much liquid while I'm eating, but like, it's so refreshing. I heard that you shouldn't drink water when you eat because it's like, it like dilutes your stomach digestive enzymes or something. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but I definitely heard that that is true. You shouldn't drink too much water while you're eating, but I drink like so much water while I'm eating because it's like so refreshing. Mm. Okay, I definitely cannot finish this whole cookie, but I want to have a couple more bites. My stomach is definitely exploding, but this is so good. Mm. Mm. Ice cream on top of ice cream on top of cookie. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So good. 
Guys, mm -mm. I don't know why I keep showing you this. <sighs> I'm so full, but I have like literally a bite left. You know what I'm gonna do? Mm. I'm just gonna put this in here. Put it back in my freezer because I do not want to feel disgusting. <laughs> so I will stop right now. Ooh. And I will save these for later for another day because I cannot eat anymore. I mean, I could eat more, but I know that it's not like I'm gonna feel like crap after. So Whew. I've already indulged a lot today. So don't be surprised that I couldn't finish this meal. It's because I've been eating all day, baby, all day. I've been enjoying myself. Anyway, guys, that is my mukbang for today. Sorry if it was really quick. Um, I feel like I just kind of like gulped it all down and now I'm just like super full. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will link my cheat day video as soon as it comes out. So check that out so you can indulge with me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!